Hey guys, Fox here. FXRC. FXRC. And I'm about to start my next project. My next custom RC. The Traxxas Max. Look at that thing. Definitely cool looking truck. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited about this one. Uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's basically just a miniature X Max. And, and I love the X Max, so I, this thing's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, excited. Uh, you know, initially I wasn't sure about, I don't know, because the, the price of this truck is $550. Um, and I'm gonna be taking a lot out of it. I just, I feel like it was definitely overpriced, but it's got a lot of really good reviews. Uh, it seems like a really strong truck. Um, and it's cool, so I said, you know what, screw it. So, the Traxxas Max. This thing's gonna be pretty badass. And then, uh, I think just the way it is right now, it would be pretty badass, I'm sure. But, I can't do that. So I have all of this. <laughs> Look at that, it's pretty cool. Hobby Wing Max 8, the 4274, 2200 KV motor, uh, 6S. Uh, you know, I don't know if I'm gonna run it on 6S, but it's definitely gonna give me some more power for sure. Uh, you know, uh, the Savox, I mean, yeah, the Savox servo. I don't know if I'm gonna use the servo. Um, it's crazy overkill for this truck. Uh, I, I might actually, I, I've been thinking about putting this maybe um, one of these servos in one of my I think my outcasts and uh, take the SW1210 and put it into this I think that'd be a better fit for this truck being lighter and everything so but obviously you're gonna do the wide max got the uh, got the actual drive shafts there the, the steel drive shafts so the aluminum push rods, 17 millimeter hex. Look at that. Got some awesome hot racing parts. All the steering, the the rear hub and the C hub and the steering, all that. All hot hot racing shock caps, tops and bottoms. It's gonna be all aluminum as well as the the um, shock whatever they are there collars not not necessary but it's gonna look cool definitely not necessary I don't think it doesn't really do anything it just kind of looks cool so hot racing chassis brace sick uh, yeah and when I was kind of looking around before I bought it uh, n knowing that you know this is blue and um, you know the battery is blue it's kind of what led me to get the truck being blue uh although every single one of them seem to have blue in it uh whereas this one just so I, I i really think this is more just kind of the black version maybe because it is just blue and it doesn't have any other colors you know besides gray so i i think because of the simplicity of the paint opposed to the other ones is why i kind of went with the blue and I think it looks it looks absolutely badass. So it'll go good with my my other blue Traxxas. So black and blue. Anyway, I start ripping this down. Got all these GPM parts. Bags got all all aluminum hinge pin racing. Pretty cool. I also got the aluminum servo mount, so I can do the uh, different servo so that's kind of cool so hopefully everything fits good it's kind of hit and miss with GPM sometimes but we've got that aluminum rear brace there or I, I guess it just kind of goes over that back piece but stiffening it up a little bit well anyway start ripping this thing down getting all these cool parts in there can't wait to see what she looks like when she's done. <laughs> All right, guys. 
there it is finally done well 80 percent done I, i'd say maybe a little bit more there's still a few more things i want to do um you know and I, I was surprised how much is available for this truck being as it just came out but there's a few more things i still want to do uh but i want to say you know about 80 percent done uh the majority of it is so and i and this thing just came out so nice what a nice truck uh i very nicely built very well engineered i mean it's a mini max and what else it's just very very nice construction uh they they you can tell they just really put some thought into this truck so super super nice Every, the the just how everything went together so nicely and this truck was so nice to work on such a breeze to work on uh, uh, i just it was it was really just a pleasure so <laughs> look at how awesome that is as far as tires i have a couple ideas uh i'm i'm, I'm kind of leaning towards the 3.8 trencher low profiles i've seen some pictures of it with that and it it definitely looks super nice so probably gonna go with that um but i have a couple coming so we'll see what looks really good and what's gonna work well anyway 550 dollar truck and for a 4s truck i mean i just see it it is i feel like it probably should have came with at the very least i would say the wide max i mean little i mean even if they kept these plastic drive out shafts uh you know it, they should have at least at least included the y max i mean it, then i mean if you start adding it up on the y max and then the steel dry shaft cvds there i mean we're talking 700 dollars. that's for at, at that point a 4s truck i mean that's that's kind of crazy uh i mean if you think about it and I'm like, this is a nice truck don't get me wrong I just feel like uh, they probably should at the very least of, I mean, cause who's gonna want this truck without the wide max? What's the application that's better with this not being with the wide kit? I just don't see it. I mean, maybe it would be a little bit stronger, I guess, because the, the A-arms aren't quite as long, maybe. I don't know, but anyway, here we are. And like I said, just with those those two things, I mean, it's seven hundred dollars alone. It's crazy. But uh, I mean, the quality of the parts is amazing. Traxxas is really good for that. They, you know, I mean, even their packaging is really really nice. I mean, look at those CVDs; they're they're absolutely gorgeous. So look at how nice that truck came out, and. This is everything that took out. So, and then besides from 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 this stuff, you know, and the electronics, it's really I mean not that much stuff I've, I've actually taken out. I've definitely taken out more on an RC car for sure. Uh, so, I just like I said, there's still a few more things though that I'm probably gonna end up doing. Uh, you know, I know Vitavon. I know Vitavon makes some bulkheads for this i don't know if that's worth it i guess um the added weight to have those aluminum bulkheads it would look amazing and be sick but i mean i don't know and i mean that alone's like 300 dollars. so i don't know but if anybody's interested this is a list uh, here are all the part numbers anyway of everything that that I did put in. Let's make sure you guys can actually read those part numbers. Hopefully getting them all in there.
So I don't know if you can pause it and get those numbers, maybe I'll help you out. But anyway, get the body up. Take a look. Now, I gotta say, more so than in any of the other uh, tracks so far that I've, I've had, the tolerance between the little clip that clips into this front is much less on this one. I mean, you really gotta squeeze that thing in there. And uh, honestly, I think that's a good thing. I think hopefully and they address the fact of this thing flying off when the, the, the body flying off when you know you, you crash the thing so um it i feel like it being in there tighter is definitely gonna help so I'm, I'm super super glad that they definitely did something now i still have to reinforce the body as you can see um but it's definitely something i am gonna do um because i just think it's a good idea to do to all if you want to preserve the preserve the body at all but would you look at that wow huh i mean look at that i mean it just came out so nice all those beautiful beautiful parts and i guess so as always i'm gonna start out with the electronics i went with the hobby wing max a esc and the Hobby Wing 4274 2200kV motor uh, 6S this truck is now 6S capable um, I think it's definitely going to be crazy for this truck and I can't wait uh, to see see what it can do so I have this all on my Spectrum DX5C I believe I have just a, uh, a I want to say I have a 4 channel sport receiver in this one maybe it's a 3 channel I don't know but um, I did manage to keep the stock fan. I just kind of, I just uh, pulled open this uh, heat sink a little bit and got it to fit over this motor because obviously this motor's bigger than the stock. So anyway, as far as servo, I have this insane servo in here. Uh, it, it's absolutely overkill for this truck for sure. And uh, I don't know if you, if anybody's ever seen this servo or heard about it, but it's, this is, I, I, this has got to be at least as far as like on paper, the, the absolute craziest, nicest servo, uh, or at least 10, 10th, eight scale servo on the market. It's got to be, I mean, I mean, look at the, uh, that's 972 ounce inches of torque at 8.4 volts. And I'm going to be running on a 7.4, and that's 763 ounce inches of torque. What? And it's waterproof. That's insane. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I have I have a few of these, um, and I have the um, non-waterproof version, which is actually has a little less. Uh, I want to say it's that one's only 900 ounces of torque at 8.4, um, and I love them. I, they're really good servos. Um, I mean, I have one in the X-Max, and it's, it's powering it like nothing. I actually have more problems with it stripping out the actual horn because it's so powerful that, than anything else. So, uh, it's crazy. Uh, I don't know if it's going to stay in here. Uh, you know, so I have this GPM aluminum servo mount, uh, you know, and it's an awful lot like the, uh, the plastic uh, aftermarket servo mount that you can get for this and for the x-max i think it's the same actual part because uh, the servo didn't quite i mean it fits in okay and um I won't, it's kind of kind of up at, a, at an angle here in the back not much and not enough to affect it it still turns just fine um you know and because the servo is small uh, uh for the power too it, it's it is a, a tiny servo uh you know i mean look at this i mean the size difference between this and the stock servo it's i mean it's a lot smaller uh i'm sure a lot of this is just housing but uh is it it's just a tiny servo but because it's a, such a tiny servo and the wire comes out i had to actually cut out a little bit so that the wire could come out and not hit right there so they have an opening for the wire of the servo, but it's a lot further down. So I just had to cut out a little notch in there. No big deal. Besides that, the, the GPM 
product lined up okay so i can't complain uh yeah I mean, not too much anyway vitavon did have a servo mount and i really wanted to go with it this was probably at least half the price of that uh you know and i thought eh, it's an aluminum servo mount so i i i chose to just go with the this one um hopefully hopefully i didn't make a bad decision so uh, the Vitavon, I'm sure, would have been a lot nicer. It would have looked nicer too. It it, turn, it flips it around, and the servo mounts the other way, and the servos underneath the servo mount. But anyway, I went with the GPM. Hopefully, what else? I got GPM. This GPM rear brace there, and this just kind of goes over this back piece right here. Uh, I, I guess to stiffen it up, but because there's no real tower or tower like actual one brace to, like the x max it's like two it's this one brace here that screws in and then there's just a plastic ridge or composite ridge right here and this this goes over that so i do have this beautiful hot racing chassis brace look at that it's beautiful blue matching the rest beautiful what else ah so and then the hot racing battery tray, uh, the battery straps. So it just gets rid of that clip system so I can put a bigger battery in here. And then obviously the Techno ba battery straps. Techno, definitely my favorite for battery straps. Um, I've tried a lot of other ones and it just seems like the Techno really hold up a lot better. So I can't even remember if I've ever actually even broken a Techno strap. Uh, you know, a lot better anyway. So moving on beautiful hot racing aluminum shock caps collars and aluminum bottom look at that just looks absolutely you know and I, i've had a few quite a few of these now um i got a set on my x max i got a set on on my 8s uh my 8s creighton um i think i was another set on something else too but uh, and you know they're emulsion they get rid of the bladder and I, I i love them they work really great uh so i've been super super impressed with them and they just look absolutely amazing anytime you can go aluminum shock cap over a plastic any day any day so obviously the wide mat kit with the with the steel cvds but i also got the aluminum chaxis linkage there so uh the the steering should be pretty tight on this with that really really strong servo and all of you know getting rid of these plastic rods is really not a lot of give and the only actual give now is going to be in the actual steering assembly that is actually one thing i have not done yet i might vitavon makes one there's a few few out there that make um steering uh, aluminum steering you know uh sometimes Sometimes it's not such a good idea to get the aluminum uh, servo savers just because they, they don't tend to slide over on onto each other as well as uh, the, the composite ones do. Um, and you can end up putting a lot of strain on, on the actual servo. Um, not that I think the servo can take it, but um, any they all have their breaking point and this servo is like 140 plus dollars. So not a cheap servo by any means I, I i think it's worth every penny but it's expensive so anyway moving on i mean look at that this cat is super super nice i hope i don't try to forget anything uh one of the things that i did not do yet um is i didn't realize this thing comes with a plastic spur i mean a composite i say plastic but and composite spur gear and um which I think is insane. It should have had a a metal spur gear. So I do have a metal um, spur gear for this. I wanted to go with GDS, uh, but I really wanted it. And the shipping time from China for the GDS was was a little long. So I did go with the hot racing spur gear. I hope I don't regret it. I know the GDS are a little better, and I think they're a little wider, which is actually what the pinion on this is, is has like those wider uh teeth so um we'll see how it works out but that's part of the whole 80 percent thing done so i have all aluminum hinge pin bracing and this is all by gpm you can see the aluminum aluminum look at that now there is little uh, on the stock aluminum plates that go and then the, and then the actual 
back piece is all composite on the stock where well, this just replaces not only that uh, uh, actual aluminum plate that holds the pins but also the the back uh, actual mount itself so and and they all went in really nice and lined up great so um, it definitely should be better than stock for sure all aluminum so hot racing aluminum steer C hubs and this the, the oh, it's all aluminum so the steering whatever it is the C hub and and all hot racing aluminum rear rear hubs I don't know if you can really see them in there but it's all aluminum hot racing in there so really I think that's about it so far anyway um, I'm sure I'm forgetting something or leaving something out but I definitely think it came out super nice um, like I said I still got a few more things I want to do before before I'm gonna say yeah this is this is it this is done I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with the bulkheads um, one thing is making me lean towards the doing the rear bulkhead is this top plate has a really good little gap in here and I don't know if you can really see it but I know for sure and I've seen people too are start getting a lot of sand guys getting in from right here so if you can seal that up to stop that because unlike some you know where where it does have this center being open but there's a place for the dirt to escape once the dirt gets in here it's just gonna keep going down until it gets right into your actual center diff and that's the last place you're gonna want dirt is in that in that middle center diff so um, but I know the Vitavon really probably does a lot better job sealing this up um, and then actually mount like being aluminum to this to mount to because I, I'm not crazy about how this motor I mean it, it has four screws going into this aluminum plate here but this aluminum plates only held on by like a screw here to this plastic piece and then there's like another one underneath that goes up that goes into the bottom of the plastic there's like this little uh like cup thing that the actual motor sits on like it just kind of holds it uh you know in, in the manual traxxas does have a part number what appears to be for a larger motor they have an actual uh plastic mounting you know the that this whole assembly that came on the actual stock motor but for a larger motor but i don't know if they're just not making it yet or what but um gpm does make that all in aluminum but i'm not sure if i'm because i have the bigger motor i'm not sure if i want to actually try to squeeze it into uh, an aluminum one where it won't have any give so but changing out the bulk head might not be a bad idea but i'm not exactly sure anyway uh i i i definitely did obviously changed out the electronics um you know not to be like oh you know like traxxas electronics aren't that great i'm not a f huge fan of the traxxas electronics i guess for the most part they they just kind of seem to put in just enough for the truck and then it seems to be really push it for whatever but i mean this 4s motor is not i mean it's not a bad looking little motor i, I feel like it's probably one of the one of the better motors traxxas has done it's got good seems like good compression and stuff so i mean not a bad little motor um you know i almost thought maybe of trying to put this this 2400 kv into my rustler uh opposed to that hobby wing 26 kb that i have in there to see um i don't know we'll see but as far as this esc um and, you know, and this is i think this is trax's first like whack at a 4s esc so i mean I, and bravo and honestly none of this really matters because this is a purpose-built esc this this was meant for this truck and if they have a plenty of room to they can make the biggest ec as they want but this esc 4s esc is absolutely enormous i mean this is a 4s esc compared to this to that 8s hobby wing i mean it's got to be like one you know and a half of that 8s it's crazy i think it's, the footprint on this is huge 
absolutely huge. Um, so taking this out gave me so much room uh, to put, you know, uh, I had to, I did have to mount this cockeyed because of the way the screws are um, for the mounting plate, but I, whatever. Um, but because it's so big, it, I mean, it definitely gave you a lot more room to, to, to put stuff in when you take it out. And honestly, to give you an idea, just how big this more this ESC is, uh, you know, and that's not to put it down. I mean, if, if, if it's an amazing ESC that works just absolutely great, and it doesn't really matter how big it is because it's meant for this and it fits in there. So, but that's a max six ESC. It's an eight S ESC. Look at that. It's, and I honestly think this has even a slightly bigger foot bit print than this. Uh, the bottoms are about the same, but the sides stick out a little bit more on the forest. <laughs> that is huge. That is a big, probably the biggest 4S ESC I've ever seen. So, crazy. But like I said, I mean, if it works really good, then awesome. Uh, you know, because honestly, I, I, I was actually initially even planning on taking the power system out of this and putting it into my rustler but there's no way this esc is gonna fit in that rustler this thing is too big way too big so i don't know if i i'll find a use for it um i might try to sell it so anyway i thought that was kind of thought that was kind of funny so there you go brand new 3.8 trencher low profiles pro line that is definitely think it came out pretty sweet I, I do like the tires uh, they're still only slightly bigger than the stock tire um, and, and I'm talking slight it's just a little bit uh, it looks a lot bigger because the rim is bigger it kind of gives the appearance that it's kind of bigger I guess but it's only slightly bigger and it's it's probably exact same width but definitely super aggressive made the truck look just fantastic i mean look at that truck it's absolutely gorgeous came out very 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 nice uh i'm very excited to get this out and start bashing this is going to be a, an animal i know it so uh Pretty much, it's it's about there. Like I said, I mean, it's still maybe a few more things that I might want to do to this, um, but definitely, definitely, still got to get that steel spur gear in there. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Consider liking, subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything. This is Fox FXRC. Later.